We Aussies love our prawns. As a nation, we consume 40,000 tons of them a year. But demand is starting to outstrip supply. So the seafood industry is using aquaculture to solve the problem. Domestication of the black tiger, that is the black tiger prawn, has been the industry's highest research priority for the last few decades. And here at Gold Coast Marine Aquaculture, there have been some incredibly exciting developments. Domesticating tiger prawns means they complete their life cycle in captivity. Now most prawn farms have to capture wild breeding stock every year and the quality and quantity isn't always reliable. But at Gold Coast Marine Aquaculture, they're now breeding from their sixth generation of stock. Last year we managed over 12 tonne a hectare purely based on the selection of the fastest growing prawns to contribute as brood stock. Which is, compared to the industry, how much more? Uh, nearly three times the Australian average. That's excellent. Brian's been working closely with several marine science teams, including the CSIRO in Brisbane, on genetic selection. In other words, finding the biggest, fastest growing, disease resistant prawns they can to breed their stock. Well, this is where we rear the uh, parents of the next generation, mm -hmm. from egg to adult in these specialised uh, tanks. And this is one of the mothers. She's the mature mother ready to produce the next generation of offspring. Now that is a prawn. It's a good size, isn't it? They've taken gene samples from hundreds of thousands of prawns, then hand-picked the best males and females to breed. The next generations are also being genotyped so that any weaker traits are bred out. So every generation is getting closer to the ultimate prawn with brawn. The Fisheries Research and Development Corporation is just one of the groups researching prawn aquaculture. For details, log on to their website or contact the team at Gold Coast Aquaculture for more info on this ground.